What if your job form submissions could automatically populate in your Outlook calendar? Well, let me show you how. Hey, job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you would love your submission data to automatically populate within your Outlook calendar, you can definitely do that with the Microsoft Teams integration. So let me show you how simple this is. I'm gonna go ahead and use a form that I already have built up at the top. We're gonna use my new client call form. We'll do edit form. And you can see it's very basic. It just has name, email, phone number. We have an appointment time slot, which is important for us to be able to choose where it's going to land on our Outlook calendar. And then we have a section for what would you like to discuss. So up at the top, let's choose settings Then on the left hand side, integrations. And as you can see, Microsoft Teams for me is right at the top. If it's not for you, be sure to utilize the search option at the top. I'm going to go ahead and choose Microsoft Teams. And you can see we have four different options. For this example, we're going to be utilizing the very last one, which is create a meeting. So we'll choose next. Now, at this point, if this is your first time utilizing the Microsoft Teams integration, you'll want to authorize your account. Since I've already done so, it's automatically pulling my Microsoft Teams account information. So I'm going to add an action. And at the top, we can customize what this is going to look like. So up here, we have that form title, which is going to be the new client call. We can add from our form field. So this way, it's going to pull new client call for the person who filled out the form. We can also choose our required attendees pulling from that email field. The start time is going to pull from appointment and then we can have this be a 30 minute call. We can also add form fields to the message from here. We can choose what would you like to discuss? We can also send a submission PDF to Microsoft Teams if we want. We can choose that document and we can create a new meeting when a submission is edited. So let's go ahead and get this saved. Now, if any point you need to go back and change what this looks like, you can always click right here to edit. Once it's been running, we can see our action logs. We can rename it, disable it, or delete it. So let's go ahead and preview this form in the top right hand corner. And we'll do a quick fill form. And we'll come down and we'll choose the 13th at 11 a.m. and submit. Now, first, I'm going to jump over to Microsoft Teams because this is also going to be in our Teams platform as well. So we can see right here we have a new client call for Justice Able. And if we jump over to our calendar option, we can see right down here on the 13th, we have this new client call with Justice Able. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your Jot form with Microsoft Teams to get that submission data on your Outlook calendar, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.